Hello and welcome to the Coach Store YouTube channel. Today we're going to be talking all about stretching for hockey players, specifically for goaltenders. Everything here is lower body and below, so no upper body for today. That will be saved for another YouTube video in the future. But for now, we'll be focusing on the pelvis and groin area, the hips, the hamstrings and calves, the quads, and even down to your ankles. All these stretches are going to be static stretches, so you're going to be staying still for most of them. So to prevent overstretching, I definitely recommend doing holds of 15 to 30 seconds or doing them in 5 to 10 reps. I'll specify for each stretch whether you can do them in either holds or you can either do them in reps or you can do both. I'm going to add the timestamps over here. So if you want to work on just your quads or you want to work on just your hips, the times will be over here. So if you want to skip to that part of the video, you can feel free. The big thing I recommend with stretches is all of these stretches are stretches I do and I feel comfortable with. So don't do a stretch that makes you totally uncomfortable. Pick the ones that make you feel comfortable. We're going to start low and then work our way up. So with the first stretch, all I'm going to do is touch my toes. So I like doing simple stretches that are effective. And this is one that everyone does. Uh, everyone's tried to touch their toes before I've done that stretch. But I like doing it in two positions. I like standing and sitting. Stretches that are familiar to me or familiar to everyone in general are nice because you already know them. And then by changing the way you're doing it in the orientation, you can increase your range of motion. For the next stretch, we're gonna be extending our leg forward and putting our toe in the air. So we want this forward leg, whatever leg you're putting forward to be straight toe in the air back straight and your other leg can bend all right from the front angle this is sort of what it looks like all right so what we're going to be doing here is extending forward making sure this leg is straight making sure your back is straight getting a nice bend in the other leg and i want you extending forward here all right so just going forward you can touch the ground for, for stability if you need to but you're going to really feel this in the back of your leg all right, and you can do that on both sides. And you can either do that in holds or you can do that in uh, reps. So I'll do it in the other way as well. So you can get that bend straight, try to keep your back straight and then bend forward. All right, that would be one rep, all right? That would be two reps. And like I said at the start of the video, 15 to 30 seconds for holds and then five to 10 reps. Try to keep everything short. This next stretch is similar, but your back leg is gonna be the straight one this time. So I want you going forward with one leg and making sure this back leg now is the straight leg. All right. And all, all I want you doing is just going forward until you feel it. So this leg should be pretty straight. You're going to feel it in the back of your leg again. So you're going to go forward, forward, forward. I start feeling in the back of my leg. Hold, 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 and then get up. All right. You can do this in reps and also in holds, like I said with the last one. Make sure that you're trying to keep this back leg straight back here. And you're going forward until you feel it starting to feel it all right hold 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 all right for this next stretch you're going to need a bucket or a chair a bench or really just anything to lift your leg on so all you're going to uh, do here is just take your leg put your heel onto this whatever you have here whatever surface you have and then touch your foot all right you want to make sure that your leg is straight you're also going to try to keep your back as straight as possible with most stretches you want to keep your back as straight as possible you're just going to go forward and hold Then you can do the same thing on the other leg and hold and you can do this one in reps as well then you can go forward and go back forward and back the other way you can get a really good hamstring exercise without a bucket is just sitting down opening your, your pelvic area, your groin area, just opening wide here. And then you can stretch each side from here. So I'd go to your toes here and just hold your toe. You'll feel this more on, under your leg on the inside as well. And then you can go to the other side as well. This one I would say do for holds. Don't do, uh, don't do reps for this one I would say. You can also do this wider if you want more of a more range of motion within your hips and your pelvic region. You can do this stretch wider and widen out your legs. I suggest uh, focusing on one muscle when you stretch though. So I'm really just focusing on my hamstrings here. So for the next stretch, we're gonna be focusing on our quads. And for quads, I really only do one stretch for them. And it's the same stretch in three different positions. I'll be standing, I'll be on my side, and then I'll be on my belly and I'll show you. 
So all it is, is just your simple quad pull. All right, you're just, you're just pulling your quad until you feel this stretch in, in the front of your leg, all right? It's just this simple stretch that you've probably done in any gym class in your life or any sort of, any sort of stretch you've done. This is probably included. But what I like doing is doing this stretch in different ways. So next, I'm gonna be going on my side and I'll be doing the same stretch. So you wanna to try to extend this arm forward go on your side make sure your back is as straight as possible take your top leg and then pull do that same quad stretch but you're on the ground now you're on your side and like i said earlier with the comfortability and just flexibility and range of motion with your stretches i like doing similar stretches but in a different style or a different way so i'm doing the same stretch i did earlier but now i'm on my side all right so the last one you're gonna do it's the same exact thing, but you're gonna be on your belly. So get on your belly, and then I want you to grab him back and pull in that quad. It's the same stretch, but now you're on your belly. I've noticed that doing these three have really benefited with getting me with quad stretches, and it's literally the same stretch all three times. So you can do both sides. Just make sure that you're not overstretching one side. Stretch both. Next stretches are gonna be focusing all on the pelvic, groin, and hip area. I have a lot of goaltenders come to me and ask, how can I increase my range of motion? I can't turn my hips that well, I can't do splits. All of these stretches are stretches I do to increase my likelihood of being able to do a split or just have that range of motion within my hips. To start, we're just gonna be doing simple butterfly here. So all I want you to do is just put in your, putting your feet together like this, okay? One of the most simple stretches, I do it all the time. I see a lot of gold hunters do it. It's so simple, but yet so effective. So you're just gonna hold this 15, 30 seconds to whenever you're comfortable, really. And then what I like to do next is actually push my feet out a little bit. So instead of keeping my feet so in tight here, I'm gonna push them out a little bit here. And then I'm gonna extend to my right and extend to my left. All right, so I have my toes more in front and now I'm just gonna extend, all right? I like to try to extend over my knee or at least put my arm over my knee. And I'll do it the other way. Like I said, try to keep that arm over your knee and just extend. All right, so for the next one, it's essentially a single butterfly. So you're only be extending one leg. You're gonna take one of your legs and send it back here, okay? So now I have one leg here. There's two ways I like to do this stretch. I like to pick an angle and stick with it. And then for the second way, I like to use my full range of motion and move within the stretch. And I'll show you what I mean by that. So for the first one, I want you to do that similar first extend and extend over your knee. It's gonna be a little bit easier than when you did it with two legs. So you extend there and then I want you extending over your toe. So then this is gonna be a little bit harder. Extend over your toe. And then the way you can change the stretch is just flow within it. So then instead of doing hold single here and single here, I can start here with the stretch and then slowly move to my toe and then slowly move back to my knee and then slowly move back to my toe. I like doing both. I like starting out doing this, moving here, just staying static and just picking this like this and then going here. And then I like doing the second version where then I'm moving around. For this next stretch, it's gonna be similar. So I want you crossing your leg again, putting it above your knee, your other knee, and then lifting your leg, all right? I'll try to get it at a better angle so you can see it. So you wanna cross your, your leg across your knee like this, okay? And what I like doing is until I feel that stretch, until I feel it here, so I feel it, I want you rotating your body left and right. So you're gonna be swaying left and right. So you're gonna feel the stretch over here and you're gonna feel the stretch over here. So I'm essentially, with this stretch, I'm trying to wobble back and forth, like this. And you can do it on both sides. So cross your leg here, so you feel comfortable, left and right. I like this one a lot. I don't see very many goaltenders use it, but I love it. I feel like this one increases my range of motion the most because I can feel where I'm tensing up right here, and I can feel me tensing up about right here, right? 
And I'm not just tensing up in one area, I'm tensing up in multiple areas. And these are definitely areas I can work on when I stretch. And I really, really, really love this stretch so much because I feel like it increases my range of motion so much more than a lot of the other stretches I do. All right, so next stretch, I'm gonna be on my back here. I'm trying to get a good angle for you guys. I want you to put your knees together and spread your legs apart. This one might feel weird at first, but trust me, this one really, really gets your inner pelvic region and even your knees. So put your knees together, your feet apart. The more your feet are apart, the more of a stretch this is gonna be. So lay back, put your knees there, and then start spreading your feet until you start feeling it. I start feeling it there and just hold. All right, I can really, really feel this on, the, on my inner pelvis and even on my knees a little bit. Another way you can do a, a stretch while laying back like this is instead of having your knees together like this, spread your knees out, put your feet in, and then you start feeling it a little bit outer on your groin area. This, that past one was more gonna be in, this one's gonna be more out, all right? So you're really, just, you're really just spreading your legs, doing that sort of butterfly position that we did earlier, but you're doing it while laying down. So this next stretch, I see a lot of people focusing on the wrong muscle when they're doing this stretch. And I'll see, and I'll explain why once I get into it. It's a very, very common stretch. So you just wanna put one knee down, extend this knee forward and get into this sort of position. Back straight, knee here, and then knee down on like some something that makes you feel comfortable, okay? So the problem I have with this one is a lot of people will extend forward and that's okay. So they'll do this and that's okay. This gets you, this gets you a decent amount of hip area, but it's mostly focusing on your thigh here. I can feel most of this burn right here in my thigh. And that's not what we typically want with the stretch. So I recommend you can do this stretch once to get that one area. So do it on both sides. Just stretch forward like this. All right. This does get a decent amount of this hip and, and groin area or there's just, just this groin and pelvis area. But one big thing I definitely recommend when doing a stretch like this is to add a variation. And this is the variation I add that really, really gets my inner hips going and that rotation going. So from this position, you're in this normal position, move this front leg to the side here, all right? So you're gonna be moving it away from you, okay? Move it away from you and then move your body inside. I can already start feeling this stretch. So move this leg sideways, move your body in, and then do the same stretch. You're gonna really feel that in here a lot more when you do that, all right? It's, it's the same stretch, but you're just moving two things. Moving your leg over here, moving your body this way, and then doing the same exact thing. I really feel that on the inside right there. I'll do it on both sides as well. So you wanna move this foot over, I'll be moving my body this way and then extending. All right, like I said, with a lot of the stretches that we've done today, a lot of them are a similar stretch that you've already done, but you're trying to increase that range of motion. You really don't want to do a simple stretch that just that focuses on one angle of a muscle. You want to hit different angles on the same muscle. For the final stretch I have for today, it's going to be a two part stretch that I do. This is going to help with your lower back, okay? So all I want you doing, you've probably seen a thousand people do this, but you might not have done it yourself. Is just extend your hands forward, put your legs back, and then feel that stretch in your lower back. The reason I said this is a two-part stretch is because I'm doing this stretch here. I'm gonna hold, I'm gonna hold, and then I'm gonna bring it back here. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get my legs and I'm gonna pull them apart here. So I'm gonna start here come back, pull my legs apart, and then get into this position like this. This I can feel in my groin area, so we're effectively working on two different stretches in one stretch. So you're gonna sit in here for 15 to 30 seconds, and then go back to here, get that lower back, and then widen your knees again, and bring it back here. This one I like because you're working on different, different muscles in one stretch, but you're also not just aimlessly focusing on a stretch or a muscle. You're firstly working on your lower back and that, that, that stretch right there, and then you're coming back and you're working on that pelvis area. I wanted to add one more thing though before this video ends, is that everything here was lower body and below. There's one big thing I see goalies don't stretch, and that is their neck. Believe it or not, I always stretch my neck before game, and I think more goalies should, 
Because when you're in your goalie stance and you're moving into any position, your head is always the one thing moving first, right? The puck's over there, I'm putting my head there first. I'm getting my eyes there. And I notice that when I stretch my neck before a game, my neck feels so much more loose, less stress, and it's just easier on my head in general. So just the thing I do is just look down and look up, look left, look right, and then I get a full range of motion by spinning my head around. And I've noticed it's just made my neck less stressed so that when I'm looking over, my neck, like the side of my neck isn't stressing out as much. All right, well, if you enjoyed the video, let me know if you have any comments or questions or anything. Let me know. The comment section is always there for me to talk to you. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed, and I hope you can take any of these stretches to help you out during a game or practice or whatever you need them for. All right, see you around.